Hello YouTube and welcome back to Ground Forks Place KSP and in the previous episode we have successfully launched our KSS Orbital space station and in this episode we will be building and launching the habitation module because we don't want our kerbals to be cramped up in that small lander can now will we? Alright and this will be a craft which will be a piloted craft that will be taking this uh, module up to the station, dock with it and then uh, get back to Kerbin. Yes, in this episode I will show how to do a stock docking. Alright, so without further ado, as you can see I'm constructing my tiny teeny tiny return module and then I will be constructing the habitat. The habitat will be 1.25 meters and it will be consisting of this crew passenger module for the planes. So yeah, this with the two RCS modules, so for the easier flight, and then we will be attaching that to our newly built space station. Until we can build and send more fancy stuff up there. Right. See? Docking ports, tanks, well, simple enough. Now, I want to be placing an antenna on top as well. There we go. I mean, what's best for the habitation module than a nice radiating antenna on top of it? But I mean, I don't think actually the Kerbal's mine, they're green anyway, so that's all right. Some batteries on top, yes. Right, uh, actually I don't need the batteries. The, the command module which I sent up there already has plenty. Right, now I want to be taking where are my RCS, yes, there we go, four of them, and on the other side four as well, which will give us an easy ability to, you know, maneuver around and dock. Then I want another decoupler below that, yes, and then I want to be taking a nice adapter not this one not this one come on this one yes that one exactly and design the boosting stage not you you yes then another one like you and then let's take the engines I think main sail should be okay for the most part actually SAS unit yes actually this one might be also equally as good I don't want to go overboard that's 1.25 thrust to weight so that means I just need to beef it up with some boosters and then it will be fine let's put the liquid fuel boosters this time I put this tank and then on top I'm gonna be placing this tank and on bottom as well and that should basically create a good enough for us um, ascent stage now let's see where are my reliance yes I'm gonna place two more reliance and that should be perfect aerodynamic good all right sure now let's take a look at the um, yeah strutting I want to strut these two perfect so it doesn't wobble like a wet noodle right and then let's strut these two at the bottom as well so sure fins yes four of them perfect sounds good enough and uh, yeah then the fuel lines Good. That gives us 4,905 meters per second delta V. Now let's name it station, station, habitat, habitation module, mark one. I always attach mark one because it's like, it's not the Habib, it's the habitation module for the KSS orbital. Kerbin orbital, yes, save. To be honest, I don't think it requires much more fiddling than that staging seems to be going correct 
Although these two might actually ignite together with this one to give me maneuvering capability if I wanted to. Because I consider this small craft on top, which is a return lander, I consider it also to be a tug. Right? Now, let's see. Okay, uh, toggle antenna, yes, thank you. Save, and I would like to have some launch clamps, please. Yeah, launch clamps, just the two of them, and bring that one down, perfect. That seems good enough to me. Let's launch it. Three, two, one, and... Let's just quickly, oh, before we launch, yes. Set station as target. And then I want to be intercepting it as I ascend. So a little bit more time acceleration. Here, perfect. Okay, and let's kick it. Now the thrust weight is a little bit lower than I would have expected it to be. I think around 1.45 or something. But uh, now it's already has risen to 1.8, so we're pretty good to go burning slightly you know towards the east as always orbit prograde and uh, hopefully we will be able to get into space and just dock with our base or station sorry attaching the boost detaching the boosters and now as you can see it's 1.34 th thrust weight so it's a little bit on the low ish side and now we have no longer struts which means like we've got some noodle action. Hossi Kerman is actually the pilot du jour, who will be taking this, docking it and then returning back. No, he's not staying in orbit. I have different plans for him. Hossi is keeping the wobblage under control, although that's not an easy task given that we have two docking ports. Wobble, wobble, wobble. well okay and we almost have an encounter as you can see here however uh, i'm gonna first circularize i'm not gonna burn directly for the rendezvous i prefer to circularize and then make sure that i get the rendezvous because that will happen on the next orbit it gives me a little bit more time to maneuver and prepare everything correctly it is less efficient but It will be simpler, I think. Okay, getting ready to burn. We'll be burning when it's T minus 29. And the station is passing us overhead at a great velocity. hitting the burn and we're just basically shouting wait wait for me catching up you know 1000 meters per second to burn but like I said that's the reason why I'm not trying to rendezvous with it right as of this minute this way we have plenty of time to circularize and then on the next orbit we do the rendezvous and docking, of course. And there we go. There we go. All right, so we have an encounter on the next orbit, so let's just warp to it. Eight minutes. Perfect. Time warp cancelled. And now let's do the rendezvous dance. Now our target relative velocity is 74 meters per second. I'm just trying to find where the hell it is. Oh, it should be below me. Right. There you are. Okay, so the, the best way to do it is that we burn a little bit directly to the target so that we align pink and the yellow markers on the nav ball 
and then we flip back because our relative velocity is 146 meaning we will be hitting it very fast so now i'm keeping the two markers aligned while reducing the target velocity to say around 10 ish and then when we get close up i'll reduce it even further 200 meters three meters and it's time for a picture Hossi, are you doing okay buddy yeah you're doing great actually 1.2 meters per second relative and the separation is 100 meters all right now the relative velocity is so let's decouple and now let's go for the docking setting the docking port as a target and controlling from our docking port because that will make our target ports aligned and engaging the rcs and burning towards the station simply put note that i'm mainly using translation controls but this craft isn't perfectly balanced meaning that uh, it also invokes a little bit of turn It so feels so strange going with RCS sounds. I mean, I'm not used to it because I used to play on very old versions of the KSP. Back then we didn't really have the RCS sounds. You could only see the animations firing, but not the sounds. Okay, let's turn around. There we go. We are closing the gap. And as you can see, I'm keeping my target reticules aligned. and um, 100 meters 99 meters another screenshot opportunity a little bit correcting the things perfect we shall be docking shortly There we go. So as long as those two target uh, uh, yellow and the pink are aligned, that means that you will be eventually ending up dock to dock. Dock will be hitting dock. But at what orientation and stuff, well, that's for you to figure out. So as I'm coming closer now, what I want to be doing, I want to rotate correctly. I want to find the rotation in the correct way that would be this way so i'm disabled the rcs i'm basically eyeballing the orientation and then i'm go doing again the translations you want to be doing this at around target velocities below one meter per second typically And that's typically for the translation keys. You have H and N for burning towards and away from, and then I, J, K, L per default for the translational thrust. Opposite of W, A, S, D, which is for rotation purposes. All right, and actually I'm using my shadow almost as a tool to figure out where am I. 10 meters to the docking port. As you can see, I'm not perfectly aligned because I'm used to actually playing with the um, Navifish uh, uh, docking port alignment indicator. I think that should be stock, actually. But this will work just as well. Just I need to make sure it smooches a little bit. Oh, and there we go. Well, good enough. It was a small enough part. And as you can see, there we go. It looks like a giant wobbly habitat attached to the station. Right, let's extend the antenna. And then we will be returning Hossi back to Kerbin. Because after all, he just went here to deliver the habitation modules 
for Felix, Enli, and Dan so that they can enjoy. I mean, one of them will be in the cupola, but the other two should be, yeah. So now let's decouple. Hossie, are you ready to go home? Oh, there are some rocket parts still. Never mind them. Let's go and burn for the 20 ish periapsis, after which we will be returning you back to Kerbin. And we are hitting the physics window. Burning retrograde. Perfect, let's detach. We no longer need anything, we just want to return back to Kerbin. I mean, this trip I don't expect that will yield us almost any science, but uh, some things you just gotta do for the heck of it. I couldn't let my Kerbals, you know, Felix, Dan and, uh, well, the third one, to be uh, scrammed in that tiny lander module. After all, it's not really that comfy. This is more a luxurious, you know, residence. And I know I could have sent a, a passenger module, but I just felt this felt more like in-game sort of shtick. Okay, crew report. No, not really. I'm determined that Hossi brings at least some science back. Maybe report now that's still flying high okay maybe when we go flying low I don't know what the qualifies for flying low these days maybe 5,000 meters or something I pop the chute and 1,000 ooh boy whoo jettison hit shield uh, no I don't want to actually now how about now the and there we go touchdown perfect eva and as you can see he has one of those newer suits you can change that on on the hangar yeah eva report nothing new take surface sample at least some science maybe two three signs that would be good enough and let's recover the vessel all right guys so that brings us to the end of this episode as always like if you like the episode hit subscribe for more action and i will be seeing you all in the next one thank you very much for watching this is gromforks signing off